Pittsburgh, the city of champions. The city has transformed itself and the world is taking notice. In 2012, National Geographic named it one of the best trip destinations in the world. If you visit Pittsburgh and you love to golf, the old Stonewall may be the highlight of your stay. Golf Digest ranked it one of the top 50 public golf courses in the United States and number one in Pennsylvania. The dramatic elevation changes of this beautiful golf course will make you appreciate the hills of Pennsylvania. With its castle motif and its medieval flair, the old Stonewall will make any golfer feel as if the battle is on. But beware, Shakespeare wrote, the better part of valor is discretion. In other words, take it easy out there and play smart. Welcome to 18 Holes. I'm your host, PGA Golf Professional, Jimmy Hanlon. And I'm your co-host, Big Break Champion, Carling Nolan. Carling, today we are at Old Stonewall Golf Club in Elwood City, Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh. Jimmy, check out that castle. Playing here makes me feel like I'm somewhere very special. We are somewhere very special. This is one of the best public golf courses in the country, and it is the best in the state of Pennsylvania. All these old stone walls make me feel like we're playing on ancient land, kind of like Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to see any dragons today, but I know one thing that's going to happen. I will be the king of the par threes. And I'm going to be the queen of the birdies. <laughs> well, <laughs> shall we, my dear? Oh, well, grab your club, sire, and we shall go forth. <laughs> Tally-ho! Carling, we just started, but the views around here, they are stunning. But don't let the views fool you. The secret around here is short game. Hole number one, starting off on a par five. Now keep your drive down the right center and prepare yourself for one nasty green. All right, time to go medieval today. Number two, par four, 392 hit a good tee ball, then you have a strategic second shot into a green that's really, really tucked away. Hole number three, par four. The tricky thing about this is the drive. Bunker left, bunker right. I'm gonna take driver, split it right down the middle and see what I can do. Number four, typical old Stonewall already, huh? Absolutely. You know why they call it Stonewall, too? Because look at that layering of the stones there around the lake. It's beautiful. I love it. Tough, tough driving hole here. You got to get it into play. We're kind of lucky today. Pins on the left side. Can you imagine a back right pin on this hole? We got to watch out for the water, but then there's that tree on the left side. So we are very lucky with the pin placement. Can you just say something that's like easy about this whole <laughs> tree, water, pin placement. We did get a lucky pin placement. That means we we're going to make birdie on this You've hole. put pressure on us, there's Jimmy. There's no pressure. Let's do it. <laughs> No trouble, partner. Oh, hit that 150 mark. Beautiful. That was beautiful. That's almost as beautiful as this hole. <laughs> oh my gosh, you killed it. Stay right of that tree. That's per. You're over that tree. I am? I think. No, how about right in there? Go past. Ooh. Ooh. Next be time I'm going to tell the viewers just to slip right under that tree. Just right there. <laughs> I think that's good, huh? I think so. All right, Carling, I have a tweener yardage here for me. 120 is like right in between what I need to hit. But downwind, don't you like to hit it harder downwind usually? It's probably bad advice to say just hit it harder, but <laughs> I'd say hit it harder. <laughs> All right, I took your advice, Go. Caddy. Come on, Caddy. Caddy. Oh. What are you listening to me for? I did listen to you, my competitor. What is that all about?
Don't start the day like that. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get these line. greens. I'm not reading these greens very well yet, Carling. A little mm. break here at Old Stonewall. These greens will break you at Stonewall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple good parts. We'll take that. Yeah, huh? I love it. All right, golf tip. How about that? You ready for that next? More of that to come here on 18 Holes. Welcome back to 18 Holes. We are at Old Stonewall, just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we are battling our way through this very difficult golf course. Hole number five, par three. We got a lot of water on the right and bunkers on the left. Pick a good club, aim for the center of the green, and knock in a long one for birdie. Hole number six, talk about being in the gauntlet. Water on the right, trees on the left, Heavy rough card in the green. You must hit a good approach shot to play this hole well. Number seven, par three. Finally, an easy hole. Pick your club, aim at that pin, and stick it close. Hole number eight is a par four. Not very long, only 315 from right here. Elevated green, it's a dog leg left. Take enough club to get up the hill, or you will not make a good score on this hole. Number nine, par five, wide open fairway. Take driver and rip it up the middle. Don't surrender to old Stonewall. Let's finish this front nine off right. All right, we're making a turn, and it does not get any easier from here. Hole number 10, par four. 460 from back here up the hill. You have to kill this drive, and you also have to keep it out of those two massive fairway bunkers. Carling, hole 11 is like every other hole here at Old Stonewall. Very visually intimidating. In fact, this hole kind of seems to be built on the side of a mountain. <laughs> it really does. It is intimidating, but we can do it, Jimmy. Okay, everything is sloping to the right. You want to keep it down the left side, but not too far left because there's some high grass up there. Well, it looks like right is bad off the tee ball. Right is bad into the approach shot, so I'm staying left. I love it. Be bright, don't hit it right. All right, let's do it. I like that. <laughs> said don't hit it right and I hit it left, bounce right, ah! more, 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 more. I can't believe you almost got that back into the fairway. I'm still leaning. You lean, man, lean. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, partner, hang on. Can't you tell? I think it's gonna rain. <laughs> I wish you an uh, umbrella just in case it rains, all right? I wish my golf game would make it rain, but I'm struggling a little bit today. <laughs> well, that's why we're gonna help you right now. I love it. Time for the 10X Health Golf Tip of the Week. How about that, huh? Let's do it. Okay, crazy lies here at Old Stonewall, right? Yeah. So go ahead and set up to this. Okay. Typically, when we get a downhill lie like this where she's leaning forward, what do people normally do? They usually come over top of it because they, they're afraid that ball's gonna go to the right, so they come over top of it. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little golf tip, and this doesn't just work on bad lies. This works all the time. Give you a little room how to swing it correctly. So take it to the top. Stop up there. Like I said, what people typically do is they're afraid, so they want to hit it left, so their left hip clears out of the way. There you go. Club comes over the top, and it doesn't fire down a line. It goes to the left, and that ball goes left. That's some ugly stuff. That's not good, right? So what we want to happen is take it to the top again. There you go. We want her to take it to the top. We want these arms 
to drop still. You got to stay down with the shot and they got to, you know, to stay down through the shot, they have to drop right here. Real important thing. I get a lot of questions from people. How do I get my arms to drop? Well, they can't drop if you clear out of the way and come over the top. Mm -hmm. So I got a drill for Carling to help her feel that. All right. And we did really need the umbrella and it wasn't for rain. Okay. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to stick this umbrella in the ground right here. Perfect. Stand up. So any time you're hitting balls on a range, you can just use umbrella, stick, anything like that. And we're going to put it by our hip. And what we wanted to get is we wanted to get the feeling of go ahead and take it to the top again, Carly. Good, good, good. Now the move for her is she's going to slide forward with her hips. Look at all that room that gives her right Ooh, there. Oh, yeah. Be able to drop that club. Do it again. Take it to the top. Slide forward. Boom. Hit the umbrella. Go ahead and swing it. Boom. Right. See, that gives you way more room to allow those arms to drop, doesn't mm -hmm. it? So if you clear out of the way, they instantly go over the top. If you move this way, instantly give you room to drop them down in there. Hit it solid. Hit it at the flag. I love it. You so, like Jimmy, when I'm on the range, then I can practice with my, my stick or my yep. umbrella right there and just keep bumping yep. the hip. Just bump it. That's kind of like the birdie dance. It's a little bit Four like birdies, the birdie dance. Right? Four birdies. <laughs> you move forward, arms drop. But you have to have the room to move forward for the arms to fall. If there's no room, they won't fall. I love it. Awesome. I think you're going to hit a good shot right here. All right. I'm going to do it. That's your 10X Health golf tip of the week. I'll tell you what, Carling, how about trying to play golf with tendon pain on this golf course? No, huh? you can't do it. Not going to happen. Great procedure. It can help you. If you have tendon pain, check it out. 10XHealth.com. Play pain free. First, I'm going to hit a really good shot here. That would be pain free. <laughs> that would be pain free. Hit it good. <laughs> Golf Tip of the Week is brought to you by 10X Health. You can't make good golf swings dealing with pain. Chronic tendon pain can be fixed. Go to 10XHealth.com to get pain free and swing it better. Oh, that was a very solid run, ball run. Run, run, run. Oh, that's gonna run. Run towards the hole, not away from it. Woo! Stop, stop, stop. One feet, two feet, oh. oh. You can't leave it short. Man, but I was right on that break. It yeah, really it broke turned. a lot, huh? It did break a lot. Such a little girl putt. Well, you are a little girl. Well, that's true. Good par. Thank you. I will take a par in this very difficult hole. Oh, mm. hit it, honey. Are you kidding me? Oh. So let's just say that both of those were uphill a little bit. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I think they were both uphill. Oh. I don't even know about this green. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. I like this golf course, though. You? No, I'm having a good time. You really have to think out here. All right, how about we're going to play a little more golf when we come back right here on 18 Holes. Top one. Welcome back to 18 Holes. We are at Old Stonewall Golf Club just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And on the last few holes, we've had mountains, bunkers, fescue. We have seen it all. Hole number 12 is a par four. Pick the club to get in a fairway off the tee. About 250 yards to the edge of the fairway. Second shot over a gorge. Placement, placement, placement. That's the key to number 12. Seriously? Too much club. 13, par four. There are 13 unlucky bunkers on hole 13. So steer clear, my friends. And then on your second shot, make sure to take enough club to get up that hill. Hole number 14, par three. Simply one of the most beautiful par threes in the country. You must pick the right club downhill from the tee. It is key to make it birdie. That's a niner. The hole. All right, par three, number 15 here, Carling. And you know, this golf course has been just beautiful all day long. I don't see beautiful at all here. I see hard. <laughs> You're right. I don't know if I want to even play this hole because there's an enormous gully between us and the green. So I'm not going to play it. I just want to take a zip line all the way down it, <laughs> all the way to the green. No zip line on this hole, all right? <laughs> and you know, you have to carry it. 
Keep it to the right if you're going to miss it. The key okay. is just to not miss it. You can't miss a shot here, right? Absolutely. We're going to take good club. So how far do you have out here? Yeah, only, by the way, FY 215 <laughs> from back here. Take enough club, and we're going to aim for the middle of the green. All right, let's hit it. Love it. Oh, I turned it in there, car. Is it enough? Keep turning and be enough. Can't see. I can't see where it went. It looked good. You were right on line. I hit that little drawer just like I wanted to. I That's love just it. in case I kind of left it out there to be <laughs> safe. <laughs> oh, did you pick the right one? Come on, baby. Pick be the good. Right club. Oh, you oh, did. Oh, stop. Good shot from there. Okay, partner, two birdies on this hole. Uh, I don't think that happens very often. We can never play here ever again. No. We'll have to leave on that note. We will be banned. <laughs> All right, this looks pretty straight, so I'm going to give it a go. Knock it in. How about you one time, oh. huh? How about you one time? I was just kidding about the two birdies. <laughs> now you have to make it. Wow. But then we can never play here ever again. Wow. <laughs> All right, partner, I got to get this lined up. My new ball marker uh, from Spakes. It helps me line up, I'm telling you. This is kind of blingy here. I got a bling bling one here. <laughs> it huh? looks good. Spakesology.com. I line it up way better with this thing. I just feel more confident. When I, when I sit it behind it and line it up. Well, you should make this then, Jimmy. Well, I am going to make this then, Carling, <laughs> since you just made yours. It can't actually read the green for me. If this could read the green, I'd be good. But be, yeah, it be does line me up a lot better. So I'll give it a little credit when this goes in. How about my little device? How about my little device? Come on. Uh, that this is crazy. Was the best birdie I've made all year, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice good job. Good job. Hole number 16, par four. Now, this is an amazing hole. Seriously, if you are a salesperson and you're bringing clients out, this is where you seal the deal, right here on 16 T Box. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're in Pittsburgh, this is the spot to come right here, isn't uh -huh. it? I mean, you don't see views in golf like this very often anywhere, not only in the country, but in the world, really, huh? Really, we are really lucky to be here. I mean, Jimmy, look at this. I mean, I feel like I'm a mile up here. I mean, it seems like it doesn't matter how hard you hit this golf ball, you could never clear that gully right there. <laughs> At the same time, we're so high up, I feel like I can fly it across Pittsburgh right now, too. So, I don't know. It is a it is a little intimidating. I'm a little nervous, too. I'm going to hit this ball, and I'm going to start counting to see how long it takes for it to come down. Huh? That's a good idea. What do you think? Maybe 30 seconds. Uh, 30 seconds, minute. I'll be a happy person right there. <laughs> well, this is great. I'm looking forward to playing the hole, and I don't know, Jimmy, how, how do you think we should play it? Well, I'm a little dizzy right now, so i got to refocus right now and uh, get over my fears. Let's just tee it high and really let this one fly. Let's do it. Hang on, baby. Hang on. Don't hit the path, Carling. That path. That's going to make for an interesting one there, partner. left like I told you to. Oh, a little short. Oh. Didn't come out of there. See, I told you I'll go left. It's rolling left now. No, 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 no. Do better than that. Ball, what are you doing? That was pretty good, though. You chopped it out up there. <laughs> I, I loved it. it. Could be good. That looks really good. Oh, oh didn't quite no. fly it back there. A little gust of wind. That was like oh. tin cup. All Gus from the golf gods. <laughs> <laughs> Is it all the way off? Oh, I oh, thought you had a good shot yeah. there. Up over that hill, now slow down. Come easy, on. girl, easy. That was pretty good touch. I tell you, you're getting way too cocky. You're getting too good. I kind of felt that shot. I liked it.
right, come on, ball. Come on. Come on. Keep feeding. Good par, good par. Ooh. That was had to be high up there, I'll tell you, to make that one. It was six feet, and I played it right here. Yeah, it breaks a lot. Jamming in go. the back car, no break in that hole, huh? All right, two pars. That was not pretty golf right there. But. Well, remember when we birdied the last one, though? I do remember that. That was great. All right, when we come <laughs> back, we're going to the Yingling 19th hole. Stick around for more 18 holes. Welcome to the 19th hole, brought to you by Yingling Light Lager, and uh, wonderful day here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We had a great day here at Old Stonewall. Man, what a golf course. Yeah, I mean, the, the, just finishing around here, 17 was a great par four, and uh, you made it good up and down there out of the bunker, Ooh, you know. A little kitty litter action yeah, going on, absolutely. but it was a good par. And 18 coming into the house, it's fun to stand in the middle of that fairway. Number one, it's nice to be in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> Number two, to be once. looking at this pretty cool clubhouse right here. I mean, you don't go too many golf courses where the clubhouse is a castle. <laughs> yeah, that is a great view coming in. All right, we had a great time here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but uh, if you want to check out our next destination, you can follow us on our show's Twitter handle, or you can follow us on our personal Twitters, at Jimmy Hanlon, at Carling Nolan. Trust me, there'll be no shortage of pictures on Carling's Twitter <laughs> there, uh, of golf courses and Carling. Yeah, I, I, I throw in a few selfies sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you at one of those destinations down the road real soon.